Justin Trudeau just completely embarrassed himself today at the uh, Foreign Interference Committee that they had. So I just have a quick 30-second video here just to... Uh, the pleb posted this. want to give a shout out to him as well. Go follow him over on YouTube and on X. But he basically says that Trudeau blames Trump for the foreign interference problem in Canada. You can't make this up. What a fool. Completely agreed. So let's just check out what he said here and then we'll talk about it after like usual. watched the American uh, impending election of, of Donald Trump and you know, the rise of, of right-wing populism around the world. That seemed to be one of the big threats that are big concerns that we had that was potentially destabilizing things like Brexit coming along, uh, Donald Trump's election. There was a, a, a lift of right-wing populism that was very much the moment we were living in in 2015, 2016, 2017 and grappling with as a as a uh, responsible, progressive rule of law democracy. <laughs> so, go figure, the global elitist has a problem with populism, especially right-wing populism. Now, I don't think that Justin Trudeau actually understands how much left-wing populism is on the rise as well. People who agree with people like, you know, Tulsi Gabbard or Robert Kennedy Jr., you know, Russell Brand, Jimmy Dore, Joe Rogan, those types of people are more left-wing populists. They just have strong disagreements with the far left because to the far left, everyone is far right to them. So that's why sometimes they get slandered as that way. But anyway, since Justin Trudeau is so afraid of populism, let's just see what the definition of populism is. A political approach that strives to appeal to ordinary people who feel that their concerns are disregarded by established elite groups. Well, I think it's pretty clear to say that Justin Trudeau is an elitist and a globalist. You're not a member of the WEF if you're not a globalist and an elitist, and he's a member of that, and he's both of those things, not to mention all the far-left you know, industries that are basically on his side, like big tech, for example, big pharma, for another example. So the reason that populism is on the rise is because people, especially in this country, are really waking up to what happens when you vote in politicians who are bought and paid for by elite establishment groups. I understand there are people who have concerns like that with Pierre Polyev. I understand. Pierre Polyev is pandering towards populism. That's true. Is he going to follow through with it? Well, we'll have to see about that. But, but back to Justin Trudeau as to why he's so afraid of it is because he's the enemy of populism. Populism and globalism is the basically the opposite of each other. And Justin Trudeau has made it very clear. He is on the elite side. He's on the globalist side. And that's why he's scared of populism. But he doesn't realize that there's populists on the left, too, that also don't like him. And this whole Donald Trump, this uh, election interference from the right and fascism, this and comparing Pierre Pauly to Donald Trump, that's only going to work and appeal to people who are already going to vote for Justin Trudeau. There are very, very few people who are you know, undecided or independents or they don't really want to vote for either party or the NDPs who are actually going to flip over to Trudeau and believe that. There'll be a, hand few, a handful, rather, but generally speaking, most people who are undecided are likely to move over to the conservatives because populists are making a very good argument and they're making more and more sense than they ever have been and there's more and more uh, of us than there have ever uh, been at least in my lifetime. Populism is on the rise because globalists have ruined our lives. That's why this is happening. He only thinks it's coming from the right, but it's not. It's coming from the left. And everyone, including the left-wing populists, right-wing populists, libertarians, independents, they're all against Justin Trudeau. The only people who are with him are people that are either too far asleep or too just in a in too much of a deep sleep where they just don't understand what's really going on maybe they're naive i'm not really sure exactly what appeals people to justin trudeau i've heard a lot of people say well it's only people who work for federal government no i i, I know people personally who still vote for him or who still support him and will vote for him again now that being said there's that number is shrinking by the day 
Justin Trudeau knows this. He's trying to scare people back to liberalism or what he is pandering to liberalism, but is what has really become elite globalism. And more and more people are seeing it and he's terrified and he should be because he's on his way out. And if we find out that it's actually his party or himself with this whole election interference, he's going to jail. So that's why he's scared of populists, because populists want to see him and every other politician here forward to uh, be held accountable for. They won't do it themselves. We have to do it for them. Conservatives and liberals will only attack the other side and then defend their own side from what they're criticizing on the other side. Populists, populists don't care if you're conservative or liberal. We're going to hold you accountable no matter which side you are on because you're going to work for us. Because we are Canada first and we need to make sure our politicians are as well. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with a new video.